Gemini, this is Nikki. I hope that everybody is doing well today. Gemini, I came to bring you guys some energy before we get into these bolos today. So be on the lookout. Um, I got all 12 signs coming, you guys, um, after I finish you. And I believe it is Scorpio, okay? Um, we got uh, self-sabotage here, okay? Somebody is self-sabotaging a wedding, a marriage, a union, a higher connection. Somebody who they thought they were the one. And I truly believe it has everything to do with addictions, okay? Now, um, this could be um, drugs, okay? Toxic attachments. This could be sexual addictions. Um, this could be um, addicted to lying and manipulating. This could be drugs, alcohol, obsession. But somebody is doing some self-sabotaging here, okay? And it looks like not only are they self-sabotaging themselves with these addictions, they're also sabotaging this here union, okay? Or this here, you know, a relationship or situationship or whatever this is, okay? Somebody's in the Eight of Cups. Somebody's in the Five of Cups and the Emperor. I love you too, babe. And we have the emperor on the board, okay? So what this is saying is, is that somebody's ready to walk, okay? I'm going to throw some words at you, Gemini. Uh, catch what resonates. Whatever doesn't, let it fall by the wayside, okay? Remember, the subject is the one, marriage, a union, addiction, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession, sexual addictions, and we got sabotage, okay? So regarding that, now we're going to go into this energy over here, okay? We got abandonment, travel, withdrawn, walking away, escapism, disappointment, lack of importance. Somebody has reached a limit. Somebody is walking away. Somebody um, is leaving because the grass is greener or the other, on the other side. Or they're re leaving because of toxic reasons and this is no longer acceptable. Or they're leaving because they're trying to find themselves somewhere else or they have found someone else. Okay? Eight of Cups. Second energy. Middle of the energy. Okay? Five of Cups. This could be you. This could be somebody else. Okay? Regarding this situation. This addiction. Self-sabotage. Connection. Okay? Guilt. Remorse. Anger. Loss. Sadness, abandonment, trauma, despair, grief. Very focused on the loss. Could be focused on the loss of the relationship. Could be focused on the loss of the person that they once loved who became addicted to whatever the hell they became addicted to. Whatever uh, toxic attachments that they have, okay? Looks like a lot of drugs here. Looks like a lot of sex here. A lot of alcohol obsession depression that type of stuff okay last card out is we have the emperor this is a taurus or this is an aries card okay doesn't have to be taurus aries however this is the emperor okay and this does not have to be a man all right this is a mother father figure this is a businessman this is responsible person supposed to be anyway okay this is a person in authority structure wise ambition stable dependable order protective, mature. This is an individual that is affected, okay, by this here addiction, this here sabotage, okay, or this is the perpetrator of this here um, sabotaging of this wedding union forever person, the one, okay, higher connection, baby mama, baby daddy, okay, this could be the person who's addicted or who has some type of, some type of addictions, okay, this could be the one that is sabotaging, either or. These are puzzle pieces, Gemini. You're going to have to put them together, okay? What fits, like I said, I throw words at you guys so that you can catch what fits. If it does not fit, if it does not resonate, let it fall by the wayside, okay? So with that being said, um, let's go ahead and start clarifying this energy. This is very hurt energy. Anytime I got the Five of Cups, um, this is a loss, okay? This is somebody paying attention to what they lost, okay? This is um, a very heavy feeling. This is grief, okay? This is an emotional funeral, okay? So there was love here. Of course there was. If I got wedding, of course, if I got marriage or forever person or a higher union, okay, it was love, okay? Um, however, this this didn't have to happen. This has everything to do with sabotaging, okay? 
everything do a sabotage and another card that i pulled that i put back into the deck it was blurred lines okay so i'm gonna go ahead and mention that anyway because i've seen that in another deck it was blurred lines it was almost and that card there that self even though i don't have it here because i put it back in the middle put it back in the deck i decided to to you know um trim the videos you know what i'm saying so i'm not pulling all the cards that you know but that particular card is a card that speaks of not really knowing which direction to go not really having all of the information okay um things are cloudy and things are blurry to them they don't understand um they're they're traveling it was it's a road they're traveling down this road and there's a lot of fog okay and um you know, maybe there's a turn right or left and maybe they miss it. OK, maybe they're confused or lost. All right. They don't have the directions to go where they need to go when they're driving down this road with all this fog and they can't clearly see. OK, that card also came out along with this here lineup. It's not here, but I, I do remember seeing that card. OK, so Gemini, before we um, begin, I want to thank, um, first of all, my subscribers. Y'all, I really appreciate you so much. I love you guys so much. Um, I appreciate your support, okay, and I appreciate your love, your comments. Um, whenever I hear from you guys, whenever, you know, you guys pop up, it does nothing but put a smile on my face. I don't care how busy I am, y'all. I'll be busy, y'all, okay? If I'm not doing y'all general reads, I'm doing personal reads. I'm not doing personal reads. I'm with my, I got an autistic son. I got a whole family here. I got a, I don't know, he may be 19, 20. I don't know how old he is. I got two, a whole bunch of 20-year-olds, y'all, okay? One of them, 31, okay? He's the only one I remember the age. The other ones, y'all don't remember, except my seven-year-old. I remember my seven-year-old, my youngest, and my oldest. I remember them, okay? But the other ones, you know, I don't, I don't remember that. They be doing too much crazy stuff, y'all. I love them to death. But, you know, one of them is here. My One of my youngest 20-year-olds are here, if he's even 20 yet. I think he's 19, I think. I don't know. Mommy love you, baby, though. I, I don't know exactly, but I know. So, you know, Gemini, I do have a lot that's going on, but not so much so to whereas, you know, you guys are not on my mind. You guys are always on my mind, um, and I love spending time with you guys. Um, so, I am very appreciative and thankful for you guys. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please accept my invitation to subscribe. Um, there are so many things that's going on. I'm giving away so much um, stuff, okay? Um, if you are chosen, um, you can get a free read, crystal, crystal bracelets. Uh, the list goes on, you guys. Um, they're in on, like I said, free reads. There is also another way to get a free read. Okay. And that is for every 100 new subscribers, somebody will be chosen to get a free read. Okay. And it will be my absolute honor and pleasure to do so. Okay. So, um, with that being said, Gemini, um, no, you are not too far away, um, to be chosen, um, uh, wherever you are, I don't care where you are. Okay. If you are my winner, then, um, I am sending it. Okay. Listen, um, for you guys who are interested in all my other products, okay, that I have listed in there. Um, yes, I do have a stock. They are my own lines. Um, my line is continuing, okay? So it, it will be added to. I'm also working on my uh, website. But just to put it out here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this all the time because I get so many emails and, and, and I got to repeat it over and over again. I do not accept anything but Cash App for any services, any readings, any, um, you know, products that you may want to buy. Um, listen, I only accept Cash App, okay? No, no PayPal. You know, none of, none of that other stuff. Okay, that's the fastest way for me to get my money, and that's the fastest way for me to send it to you, okay? So um, that is the only a form of payment that I accept, and I'm sorry if you, you know, don't do cash out, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and clarify this energy and find out what the hell is going on. Why is this self-sabotage and this addiction? Why is this, why is somebody here crying and grieving? Why is somebody walking away? Holy Spirit, your sons and your daughters. You're beautiful, lovely, unique, Gemini. Hold on. Somebody's in the Nine of Swords. Somebody is heard. Somebody is blocked. Somebody cannot talk. Somebody is not listening. Somebody is in despair. Somebody is at a breaking point. Holy Spirit, why did you have me pull these cards for Gemini? Somebody was happy with this wedding, with this, the one, okay? With this higher connection. Somebody was, 
very happy comfort comfortability all the all the comforts of home except there was somebody who uh, was settling for less there was a marriage here okay if it wasn't a marriage it was an engagement okay if it was an engagement it was a baby mama baby daddy or a very high connection and on the way to be an engagement okay tell me about this addiction Somebody had their wishes granted. They were with the person who they wanted to be with. The addictions, whatever this toxic attachment is, the drugs, alcohol, sex, whatever, right? That that happened quick, okay? Holy Spirit. Or somebody found out about it quick. Or somebody's behavior or self-sabotaging was quick. Somebody began to lie. Somebody began to manipulate. Somebody began to send somebody down the yellow brick road with this here magician. But it happened quick, okay? They lie quick. They go towards this addiction quick. They self-sabotage quick, okay? This person that somebody loves here does this. Gemini is on the board. Taurus, Aries is on the board. Holy Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Cups. Somebody walked off here. Somebody found out some information. Somebody with this page of swords here, somebody found out. And this is the reason why the walk away. This is the reason why the withdrawal, okay? This is the reason why the abandonment. Somebody might have been abandoned, okay? Travel even, maybe. Maybe somebody not from where you're from. Somebody definitely um, indulges in escapism behavior. But somebody found out some information. It, re it really reached their limit, okay? Somebody might have found out that this union, this love, okay, um... Which it was love and it was comfortability, definitely. You got the four of wands with the wedding card, okay, and the nine of cups. That's which is granted. That is me being with somebody who I want. This person I love, okay. We're comfortable, all right. Somebody found out some information here, okay. And it caused somebody to walk. Or they found out that this person walked, one or the other. Give me more. Toxicity. Here we go. They found out about some toxicity. Same thing at this at this overall energy. Addiction. Toxic attachment. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? Somebody the reason why somebody walked, somebody left, okay, you or somebody else has everything to do with this information that was found out about this toxicity. Okay. What toxicity? This drugs, this sex addiction. This alcoholism, some type of a t obsession, okay? I ain't got third party yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if I see it. Tell me about the enemy. Put your son. Somebody is broken hearted because somebody had to back up. Somebody had to pull their um somebody had to pull their um energy back. Because when they found out with this here page of swords that this person was very toxic and indulged in whatever toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, some type of obsession, sexual, whatever, okay? Somebody had to retreat. Somebody had to uh, pull the energy back. And maybe this is the reason why the Eight of Cups happened. The walking away, the abandonment, okay? Or the person who was toxic, once uh, somebody found out that they were toxic, they uh, went into an escapism type of uh, behavior and, you know, they retreated. Puzzle pieces, you guys. Take what resonates, leave what don't. Holy Spirit, tell me. Heavy energy, y'all. We got eight of cups. That's fucking, very, that's fucking um, clarifying the eight of cups, y'all. Somebody definitely walked. Somebody lost. Somebody reached their limit. Somebody withdrew. Somebody abandoned somebody. Somebody disappointed somebody in the worst way. Somebody walked away. They might have traveled to a far distance. They left. You left. They left. Somebody left. Now we're sitting in the five of cups. Okay. Now we have guilt. Now we have remorse. Now we have anger. We got loss. We got abandonment. Okay. We got sadness. We got trauma. We got despair. We got grief. And we got focused on this loss regarding this wedding, higher connection, this addiction, and what we found out about this lying, manipulating person 
who we are in love with that we thought that we had everything with, okay? This was unnecessary. Holy Spirit, tell me about the Five of Cups for your sons and for your daughters. Betrayal. Left for dead. Lied to. Deep pain, deep anguish. This is the reason why somebody is in the Five of Cups. So, if this is somebody that did this to you, okay, if somebody left you for dead, somebody betrayed you, somebody hurt you, somebody broke your heart, this is the reason why you walked, you left, okay? Or the fact that they left this union over this bullshit, this self sabotage bullshit that did not have to happen. This is a decision, you guys. This is not something that somebody did because they had to do. This is a decision. They decided to do this, okay? They decided to do this, okay? And it made you walk or they walked, one or the other, okay? Nonetheless, somebody is feeling a loss. Somebody is feeling abandoned. Somebody is feeling despair. Somebody is feeling, um, you know, trauma, okay? And as they should, because Ten of Swords hurts. Holy Spirit, give me more on this Five of Swords. I'll let you know if I see a sequence of events, y'all. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries has something to do with this. Holy Spirit, tell me more. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn has something to do with this. Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody You could have got somebody pregnant. There could be a baby or a child that just was had. Or a family member or a friend could have just had a baby or child or is pregnant. Give me more. Okay, this is what was hidden. So it was a third party. Okay. This is what was hidden. This was the betrayal. Okay, so either there was a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Taurus, a Pisces, a Gemini, a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries that was in the third party. Okay, this is the betrayal. So this is this is you. You had them in the third party and betrayed them with either a Gemini, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn. If this is them, they betrayed you with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Pregnancy may be involved. Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn. Gemini. And then plus Taurus and Aries, because I forgot we got the Emperor over here, okay? Okay. So now we get into the meat of the matter, all right? Holy Spirit, tell me more about this Five of Cups. This could be you or somebody else. Crosswatch your energy, can and will get involved. Crosswatch your, this is deceptive. This is a liar, a cheater, a manipulator, a killer, and a thief. Okay, period. A liar, a cheater, a killer, a thief, and a manipulator. That somebody fell in love with. Cross watcher energy cannon will get involved, you guys. Cross watcher, you are very unwelcome. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you as well, okay? Give me more information on this five. But they want to come back. Somebody wants to, somebody want to come back. Somebody, somebody is not willing to let this go. Somebody sees somebody as, you know, a, they want to start. They're having patience. I want to know about this Virgo. Give, give me this, this Leo Sagittarius Aries. What are they doing? Person is sexy, vivacious, outgoing, extroverted. Hitting the tower. Something came sudden to a light with this, er, this fire song, okay? Something came crashing down. Something came chaotic happened. Something, something happened. Okay, regarding this backstab betrayal and is what you could not see. Okay, tell me about the empress. Okay, here we go with the emperor. All right, we got the emperor at the end of the energy, and now we got the emperor to the empress. Somebody was married here. Okay, this is Taurus, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn. Sagittarius may be in the mix of this as well. Holy Spirit, give me, tell me about what these two are doing. What is this emperor and this emperor doing?
building walls up against each other. Somebody is. What is the emperor doing? Somebody saying no to somebody. Somebody is successfully built the wall. What is this empress doing? Holy Spirit. Putting the pedal to the metal. Somebody wants somebody. Didn't I say somebody wants somebody back here? Okay, let me jump about the tower. Gemini. Somebody pulled up. Somebody said something. Somebody pulled up. Somebody came. Somebody saw. Or somebody wants to pull up. When it comes down to this fire sign. We got Cancer. We got Pisces. We got water on the board at this point. Okay. Scorpio. We got water. We got fire. We got earth. Okay. All right, so let, let, let's find out. Tell, give me some more about this Five of uh, Cups, besides this betrayal and this lion. Why is in grief here? For your sons and your daughters. Got something to do with this fire sign. Juggling this fire sign, okay? All right, tell me about the Emperor Holy Spirit. person that is supposed to be in authority they're wise death ending okay it's over holy spirit tell me more about the emperor new beginnings and healings so is death so either they're moving on new beginnings and healings or death came to it and somebody wants a new beginning and healing with this person, okay? With this dependable person. That's a father figure, mother figure, you know. Okay, let me tell y'all something first. Let, let me finish, hold on. Somebody's having a lot of strength here. It's the emperor that's sad, okay? It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the divine male that's sad, okay? They, they're in a five of cups. Here we go with the five of cups again, okay? Like I said, I believe it's the divine male that is filled with guilt, remorse, loss, anger, sadness, abandonment. Maybe this person got walked out on, okay, because of this fire sign, this earth sign, okay? Um, despair, grief, you know, focused on loss, all right? But let me also say this, Gemini, because I cannot not say this, all right? I got way too many major arcanas, y'all. Way too many. Hold on, let me count them first. And then I'm going to tell you what that means. Give me a second, y'all. Just give me a second. So I got to count these. All right, listen. I'm going to take him out. I'm going to take her out. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten major arcanas, okay, in this reading, all right? When you have this many major arcanas, okay, in a reading, that means that somebody is going through a life changing event okay whatever is going on in this somebody's life is going to change somebody's going through a transition all right a transition a a, a transition in the, in the in the in the um sense of you're not the same person as you were before okay or if this transition has not happened you will not be the same person as you were before you will be much more enlightened um you are headed down another path okay um, you are headed towards your purpose, okay? 
there is something else that is nagging at you, even though you got all of these issues that's going on, okay? When you got this many major arcanas that comes up in your reading, that means that you are you're you're on first of all you're going to be you're going to be on a different path okay your your soul path your soul journey okay you are emerging okay into the person who you are supposed to be and that is what somebody is feeling as well okay so they're not only in a five of cups all right they're not only feeling abandoned all right they're not only feeling sad all right or addicted all right they are also feeling like a pull to whereas their life is changing. And the reason why is because it is. You don't get this. There's only 12 major arcanas in the in the um, tarot, okay? You got 10 of them, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You got 10, okay? The only thing you missing... Hold on, you got the star. Hold on a second. Let me tell you what you're missing. You missing the world, which is your cycle ending and the cycle began. So that hasn't happened. Okay. You're missing the sun. That's your happiness. Okay. I believe that's it because you got nine. I you got ten. You're the hermit. Okay. Justice, I believe, is a major one for our kind of two. Ace of Swords. Lovers. Hierophant. Y'all, it's more than uh, 12, uh, 12. Hold on. Judgment. Huh? Mm, that's just good, babe. All right. So what you have to look forward to, give me just one second, baby. What you have to look forward to, okay, because all of these major arcanas has happened already, okay? They're in your energy, okay? The magician is in your energy. You already went through the manipulation, the lying, okay? The cheating, all that, okay? The trickiness. The devil is in your energy. You've already went through the toxic, or you're going through it now, toxicity. Mm, okay? There is shit that you know that you cannot see or will. Tower. Something changing, shocking, chaotic, okay? Ace of Pentacles in your energy. You already know you want a better and brighter future, okay? Temperance in your energy. You know you got to move differently. You know you have to exercise patience. Chariot in your energy, okay? Already you know somebody's on the way. Somebody brings some type of information. Somebody who feels entitled. Strength, already there, okay? So we already know that we got to gain strength. Maybe pray for some or we know somebody is disloyal, okay? Star, new beginnings, healings, hope, okay? Death, an ending. The only thing that you're missing is this here world, which is going to happen, all right? That is the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a cycle, for your ultimate happiness. This is going to require for you to go inside in hermit mode, introspection, isolation for real, for real, okay? To be able to get the what, the when, the why, okay? Ace of Swords, ultimate clarity, okay? You will need to have this. Justice, you will be able to have, to have these balances justice, okay? Hierophant, which is marriage, tradition, okay? Um, morals, values, okay? Sticking by what you were taught. Sticking by what you believe. Okay? Ace of Cups. And also Judgment. These are things you got to look forward to. Okay? Whenever you got this many major arcanas. Um, and let me get my shit right. Because I told you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay? I think I told you it was 12. I think I told you 12. But that's not true. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay, 18, okay? So listen, my mistake, you guys, but mistake corrected. Okay, listen, that is what you're going to have to go through. This right here is a catalyst, okay? That whenever you, not 
often do you get this many major arcanas in a reading, okay? And this, that's why I have to point that out to you guys because that is, that's major. That, you know, yes, you're going through somebody who's the one who you're sad about, who you, you know, was comfortable in comfortability. Somebody self-sabotaged this shit. Somebody got a very bad addiction to something, some type of toxic attachment, okay? Um, yes, you were stabbed in the back. Somebody was, okay? Somebody walked away, abandoned somebody. Somebody is full of guilt, loss. They feel abandoned. They're hurt. They're traumatized, okay? There was a third party here, okay? We got heavy earth. We got heavy fire. And we got, um... We got a very responsible individual, the emperor, okay, who is affected, okay, by this situation, okay, and we got heavy earth, all right, we got a very lying, deceitful, cheating, you know, person who you just can't trust, okay, who does want to talk, but like I said, this person right here, this emperor, he's in the five of cups because he's lost, he's lost his love, he's lost his love. And he shouldn't have lost his love. And the reason why is because this person is, he's not a boss, he's the boss, okay? This person is a father figure, mother figure, okay, if you're a female, okay? Um, this is a business person. This person is responsible. This person is an authority, okay? People listen to this person. This person believes in structure. This person has wisdom. This person is ambitious. This person is stable. This person is uh, dependable. This person believes in order. This person is protective. And this person um, is mature, okay, most of the time. I'm not saying that he's all of these things saying he's some of these things okay and what he's doing right now is he's full of grief he's he's guilty he, he's full of guilt remorse loss abandonment maybe he made the mistake okay sadness trauma grief okay focused on the loss this is painful all right this is very painful extremely painful okay so this is what I have for you, Gemini. I hope I was able to put some puzzle pieces together for you guys. I hope I was able to shed some type of light for you guys. Um, and you guys, um, you know, hang in there. You guys got bolos coming. Um, I got one more size to do, and then we're going to dig into these bolos, you guys. And, um, and yeah. And so, um, yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. I love you so much. All right? I will see you soon.